Hello everyone. I am Professor Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In a series of home appliances, in this video lecture we will study about uh, electric iron. Let us start with the principle. When current I flows through the resistance R for a period of T, then heat equals to I square RT joules is generated. So we use a resistive heating principle in the electric ion. Now let us study different types of electric ion. The first type that is simple ion. In case of simple ion that is manually on and off type. When temperature is high we have to manually switch off the iron and when temperature goes low we have to manually switch on the iron and second type that is automatic iron in case of automatic iron it is a thermostat controlled so when temperature goes beyond a set temperature it automatically switch off and when temperature goes low then set temperature it automatically switch on construction the major part in the electric ion that is a heating element we have a ribbon type of heating element and normally it is made of nichrome because the resistivity is very high and when current I passes through the very high resistance, the heat generated that will be more. Normally, the heating element is embedded in mica sheet because to avoid contact with the metallic body. Terminals for the electrical connection, the leads are taken out. Then we have salt plate, the bottom part, the bottom most part that is known as a salt plate. Normally it is made of cast iron. Previously it was a chrome plated and heating element is placed over the salt plate. And the inner surface of the salt plate that is also very smooth and that is to avoid any air gap between heating element and the salt plate. The heat generated in the heating element is transferred to the salt plate and from the salt plate we can use for our utility. In modern iron, now it is Teflon coated. Asbestos sheet Above the heating element we use asbestos sheet and it is fitted with the salt plate through two bolt to avoid any air gap or loose connection. And the topmost that is a pressure plate. That is also normally made of casting. Now let us study automatic iron. The other construction is similar to the manual iron. But in automatic iron we use a bimetallic strip. Here the contact is closed and here the contact is open. We use a two different strip. One is made of brass and one is made of steel. We have knob for temperature setting and as we discussed, we use a bimetallic strip as a thermostat. Normally it is made of brass as well as steel. Coefficient of linear expansion of brass is more. So when it is heated, it bends and the contact is 
disconnected we use the knob for temperature setting and when temperature goes beyond a set level by metallic strip that is our thermostat that bends and open the contacts here we can see the construction with the bimetallic strip and salt plate it is connected with the salt plate here we have a salt plate and bimetallic strip that is connected with the salt plate here we have a contact and we have temperature setting control knob when temperature goes beyond a set temperature bimetallic strip bend and it opens the contact so supply to the heating element is disconnected when temperature goes below the set temperature bimetallic strip gets its original formation and then contact are closed and the supply to the heating element is now made and it start generating the heat we have general fault and possible remedies the very common fault that is uh, iron does not heat we have to check the power supply sometime fuse might be blown open supply in the power cord disconnected wire at terminal of the heating element sometime heating element might be open another fault that is iron does not get hot sufficiently supply voltage might be too low improper thermostat setting faulty thermostat loose connection next fault that is a fuse blows off when we switch on and the possible causes that is a, might be a fault or there is a short circuit in the power cord sometime we observe electric shock earth wire might be disconnected from the body or earth wire is open too much heat is produced defective thermostat so these are some of the possible fault and causes for the electric iron we have suggested certain remedies to rectify the general faults thank you very much for watching my video keep watching thank you very much